architecture and painting coexist since time immemorial. Buildings were very often adorned with paintings inside and out. But can their relationship be even closer? Can art and architecture form one unified total work of art? Is it possible to materialize the reality that only exists on canvas? Such a task was taken on by one of my favorite artists, the late Jerzy Nowoszelski. It's an extraordinary task for a painter, but Jerzy Nowoszelski was no ordinary painter. His was a mixture of figurative art, the one that shows things how they appear, and abstract art, the things we can only imagine. In this composition, it seems we know what we are looking at. Three large and one small spire. But what is beneath them? What are the doors and windows cut into? White and blue rectangles and trapezoids. They can appear to be either walls and roofs, or just an abstract composition, such as this play of triangles. Or here, are these some vases on a table, or towers and a large roof slope? It seems that in this composition the color is more important than its subject. Human figures in Nowoszelski's art are often dark and simplified, schematic. They resemble the rules followed by the authors of religious icons, such as the great master Andrei Rublov. Close ties of Nowoszelski's art with religious topics and art of the Christian East led to many commissions for church decorations. Calm, Sober, but yet sometimes monumental compositions of Nowoszelski contribute to these spaces a sense of connection with art and people of early Christianity. But Jerzy Nowoszelski wanted something more. He wanted not only to decorate a religious space, he wanted to create it. He wanted to move his art from canvas into a third dimension, an architectural dimension. An opportunity came in the 1990s, when a small Greek Catholic parish in Białybór in northern Poland chose to erect its own church. And then, at almost 70, a painter became an architect. The result is an exceptional building. The church is located in an open landscape, slightly set off the road. Its flat façade acts like a screen behind which the rest of the church is hiding. It is hard not to think that it hasn't been designed, but painted, with meadows and skies acting as canvas. Motifs present constantly in Nowoszelski's paintings are also here. Asymmetric solids stuck between heaven and earth, a cross made of only five points, buildings consisting of abstract patches of color. This façade is like a painting, but this is a painting one can enter. Unlike the façade, the interior is dark and painted with intense colors. The windows are tiny, barely visible. The nave is recessed and surrounded by a railing, like a baptismal font in early Christian baptisteries. Farther stands a characteristic element of every Byzantine Rite church, the iconostasis, a wall with icons that separates the sanctuary from the nave. All the elements are deeply rooted in tradition, but are far from being traditional forms. The iconostasis is reduced to just three arcades and two icons. There is almost no ornamentation, which has been replaced by colors highlighting the most important elements. Royal and deacon's doors in the iconostasis, the tetrapod in the nave and the altar are red and stand out from the wall. A dome was cut into the dark ceiling. In that dome, Jerzy Nowoszelski painted Christ Pantokrator, as if God himself was looking on the faithful gathered in the church. Normally, there isn't many of them, but once a year there is a pilgrimage drawing thousands of people to this small church. Then the building acts as a sanctuary, and the facade, which also has got three doors and icons, becomes the iconostasis. In 2006, the Center for Contemporary Art in Warsaw held an exhibition called Poland Icons of Architecture. It presented 20 outstanding edifices built in Poland since the fall of the Iron Curtain. It included the church in Białybór. 
and perhaps that very building was the one most worthy of being called an icon of architecture. Thanks for watching this video. Click below to see another icon of Polish architecture, the Embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands in Warsaw, and click here to subscribe to this channel. See you soon.